This is Google Season of Docs, Office Hours, the 28th of September, 2020. Thanks for being here. Uh, I'm going to share my screen and we can look at the proposed agenda. There we go. So you should see right now, I think the agenda is empty other than who we've got attending. So draft Google Docs seems like a proper topic. Are there other topics we should add to the agenda? Oleg had asked about incremental um, delivery of parts into segments a larger structure. Oh, I do have a topic to add as well. Go ahead, Mark. And, and this is the transfer of org admin for Google Summer of Docs. I have an update for that. Ah, oh, good, okay. Excellent, thanks. I don't hear any other topics, so shall we go ahead? Um, <clears throat> I think we should um, add a topic on the issue I raised last um, at the last meeting. Mikey was not around, so yeah. Oh, oh, the service account issue is that is that yeah. this one, Tina? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. So uh, sorry, I I mistakenly thought we had that resolved. My mistake. Let's. I would propose we put that one top of the list because that was one we had agreed we would we, we would cover today if it wasn't resolved by by today. Yes. Okay, good. All right. So so then let's take this one as the first topic. Um Zinab, could you describe the the problem you saw and you may need to share your screen if we get to that point? Um, yes, I can share my screen now. Great, let me stop sharing. Okay. Um. It says that it started screen sharing, not quite visible yet. Okay. Ah, there we go. Now I see it. Nice IDE. Uh, Visual Studio Code, maybe? Yes. I <clears throat> um, hope it's clear, clear enough. I can see it. Okay. Um, so this is where I'm having issues, this part. So the default value, this is um, my Jenkins value file, .yamu file. I got this from um, Jenkins Helm chart um, repository on GitHub. So um, the default value that is there is 1000, but when I um, create this using 1000 and I run, I'm not able to, the pod keeps crashing. I'm not able to do anything on Jenkins. It's I'm having some permissions issue, and I'm not really sure how to resolve that. I can't exec into the pod because it's it's not starting, so I'm not really sure how to resolve the issue with um, the permissions. If I use if I run as user one thousand, but when I run as zero, it works. But using zero means I'm running Jenkins as root, and I wouldn't want to do that. So I just did this so I can just um, get Jenkins up so I can continue with the documentation. And this doesn't block me from documenting other parts. But I would like to have this stage resolved. So um, I'm guessing, like Christy mentioned um, in the last meeting, I'm guessing I missed a step in the installation, but I'm not sure what that is. So that's the problem I'm having. 
Give me just a second. I am just taking a note. Okay. And this is the official Jenkins Helm chart? Yes. So just so I'm clear, you're saying when you run it as user 1000, it does yes. not work. Yes. Is the, I didn't think to ask you on Fridays, you know, is the FS group also need to be 1000? I, I'm not sure what yeah, the meaning yeah, of that is. Yeah. Okay, both, so you make them both, both 1000. Yes, both came, both are 1000 by default. So I, I changed the both of them to zero. Is there, do you currently have an example of where the, the pod is crashing that you're able to uh, show us that we could maybe debug live? Okay, um, I'll do screenshots and, and send to you. Yeah, you can send it to me directly. Uh, yes, the I'll reason. The, the the command that I'm looking for, and I'm going to put it in the chat for Zoom okay. here, is give me just a moment while I type it. This is in the Jenkins namespace, correct? Yes. Okay, that's one. I am going to need another one as well. Hmm. Describe pod. Can you scroll up on your Jenkins values dot yaml okay. to line one. Can you scroll down a little past the base 64 encode? I want to see the lines right after that. And scroll down about 10 more lines. Stop right there. And you put the service account in that we discussed last week, correct? Yes, I, yes. Can you show me that? Uh, can you show me that YAML? I don't see it yet. I still just see your open file window. Yeah. Okay, this is it. Can you scroll down? Keep going, I just wanna see the cluster roll binding. Is 
scroll back up to the cluster uh, cluster role. I want to just see what uh, verbs are in there. Stateful set pods logs exec. Okay, go down just a little so I can see the verbs. Wow. Okay. That's really weird. I'm going to have to look into that because this should, by just my initial looks at it, this should actually work. Uh, so let me, let me look into that and I will get you an update. Okay. I'll also do the screenshots and send to you to give more yeah. content. Yeah. That, that'll be great. Thank you very much. Okay. So you can put that as an action item for me, Mark, uh, on the list if you'd like. Okay, here we go. Sharing my screen again. And okay, so so give me it was our key to attempt to duplicate the problem. Is that what it Mark, was Marky? Marky uh Marky to it uh, debug run as user one thousand. I'll start looking into that once we're done with this call. Excellent, thanks. Okay. Anything else on that topic then? No, nothing else. Okay, great, thank you. So then the draft Google Doc for installing Jenkins on Kubernetes and just a minute while I grab a copy of that link to that doc, there it is. All right, so Zinab, uh, I think you've seen Kristen's feedback. Yes. I added a couple of minor items. Okay. I'm going to be reviewing that. It's on my list of to do this morning. Okay. And Marky, yours is a credible re review. Mine is the review of an amateur. So much appreciated. <laughs> I started, I started executing the steps, bumped into something that I didn't quite understand what the failure mode was and have to do some more exploring. Yeah, I'll take a look at it. That's it's on my list. Okay, great. And did you have any specific topics you wanted to bring to us with regard to it, Zinab? Anything in detail where you say, oh, I'd like to talk about this or this? Sorry, I didn't get that. Anything about the installing Jenkins on Kubernetes document that you would like to review with us specifically while we're on the call? Um. Not really. Um, the only discussion I would have loved to have is um, there's some comments Christine dropped about the structure of um, the documentation. And I understood what she was saying, but um, I also structured it this way with um, the location is going to be in, in Jenkins.io. Since there's already a heading installing um, Jenkins in Jenkins.io, so this is just going to be like a section of that page. Right, okay. So I think her concern is addressed by exactly what you said. So that's very good because you're going to integrate it into this page for it, installing, is that correct? Yes, exactly. So it's going to be um, under the installation part from K Kubernetes. Yeah, so just like we have a Docker section today, yes. we will have a we will have a Kubernetes section that is part of this broader document. 
Yes, so under the Kubernetes session, we're now going to have different um, options for installing um, Jenkins on Kubernetes. Got it, okay. So that makes sense. I'm gonna just embed a copy of that into the link. Good, very good. Okay, and, and I had one on this, uh, just capitalization because Linux users like me have a case sensitive set of commands. Okay. Good. Any other questions or topic? No, none for now. All right, and then Oleg had raised a question about incremental delivery of segments into a larger structure. Is he not, um, what are your thoughts on that? Do you see how it could work, et cetera? I, I don't really understand what this, what this means. I think Mr. Oleg's intent was that there's a, a, a framework or an outline form of the final document. Okay, like um, a skeleton or something. Yes, yes, skeleton, that's a good, yeah, that's a very good word for it. And, and, and then pieces are added in faster, smaller steps or more frequent, smaller steps to the to the to the skeleton yeah okay um so my question here will be that um this skeleton are we going to create it on jenkins.io and push it there first and start um adding the content later on or it's just for us to use it as a guideline as the documentation goes forward I then also the skeleton is it going to be um in relation to what we have on jenkins.io or just the contents we are adding to it yeah good question so my 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 thought was add the skeleton to jenkins.io uh, if you're uncomfortable with it being visible make it as con as comments commented sections has commented ADOC. Uh, so the famous four slashes creates a, starts a block comment and four slashes ends the block comment. Okay. So you could, you could do it that way would be one alternative. That would let you have a place to put things without displaying empty headings to readers during the period while it's developing. You could also, we have plenty of places where we have empty headers as well. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's possible to get like an example so I can understand. Um, uh, yeah, good question. Let's see. Marky, are there any places you can think of where we might already have an example that we could use? To highlight this, mm. I don't know of know of any off offhand myself, but we might be able to find some. Yeah, I can't think of any. We've certainly got plenty. We've got many places where the 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 content says this is a work in progress. So. Um, Maybe that's what we should get as examples and say, look, here's here's how we've we've got this this section of material that is identified as a work in progress. Here's how it was done. Okay. Okay. Actually, maybe let's while we're here, maybe we can avoid the leaving the action item open. You okay if I just look really quickly for for a, a sample? So if I recall correctly, system administration was a pretty common place to have 
Yeah, so, okay, so here's, here's one example. Ooh. The backing up and restoring Jenkins says right now that it's a work in progress, but, and monitoring Ooh. Jenkins also says it's under development and secure, yeah, good. So these, these pages give us some indicator of, hey, they're, they're part of a bigger section, but they say, look, this is under, this is under development. Okay. 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 So does that does that help you, Zina? Yes. That's sufficient. Okay. All right. Yes, so it does. Okay. So um, as regards this, I think what I'll do is just um, go through all the contents we've agreed to work on for the documentation and see the sections in Jenkins.io where we can add them. I'll open a pull request so everyone can review. Um. That sounds good to me. That sounds very good. Okay. So um, for installing Jenkins on Kubernetes, since I already have some content on that, I'll just include that in the pull request so that section is not empty. Right, right. That sounds really good. So anything else on the, the incremental delivery idea? The, any other clarification you'd like to request, you know? No, it's, it's clear. Okay. Uh, transfer of organization admin from Oleg to Marky. Marky. Yes, I talked with Oleg uh, yesterday or today. I can't remember which day it was. And he, it is on his list to do. Uh, so hopefully he'll be doing that within the next day or so. And Great. also and to add something, me as, that's as a mentor. He has to, okay, all oh, right. That's something he has to initiate. Certainly it's nothing that they would accept. You saying, I want to be the new org admin, take him off. Yeah, he ha yeah. okay. That he just sense. has to list me as one and then we'll remove him as the third and then they'll just be two. Ah, oh, got it, all right. All right. Any other topics? No. Okay, so I assume our one of our goals for the next session Thursday is we'll see a pull request ready for be based on the, the install material that you've done. That's cool. Yes. Excellent. Thanks very much, Zina. Thank you, Marky. Thank you. Uh, thank you all. Have